Howdy y'all, this is your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love of Games. We are uh, playing some Life is Strange 2. Uh, we are in Chapter 5, Wolves, and we've made it to the border wall to Mexico. So I honestly don't think there's that much story left. We will see. But this should be the finale. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And we're going to see if we can uh, make our way into Mexico. And uh, hopefully get freedom for once. But let's see what we can do. And we're going to hop right back into it. We're at the end of America. I'm going to look around a minute for a second. But... Mexico's the other way, dude. How far can I go this way? It stops me right there. Alright. We got our supplies here. I just feel like there should be something in this desert. I don't know how far it will let me go. I'm not seeing any sort of break in the wall. We're wasting time. We need to cross that wall. So it ends us here. I don't want to hang around here. We'll be safer on the other side. I'm gonna look on the left and then see if we can just floor it in, I guess. I find it strange to let you walk around and there'd be nothing I here. I thought I'd see this thing up close. No wasting time. We need to cross that wall. It's so weird that they'd allow you to just run around. And there not be a single thing out here. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Cause I figured... Wow. People really just leave stuff for the immigrants? I hope I can pay this forward. That water must be a hundred degrees. But it's way better than nothing. Oh, Daniel's cold. Where is our vehicle? Our vehicle's right there. We're gonna have a new life. On the other side. We got the wall. Oh, they have a road right here. You honestly should have been so, in a vehicle, drove into up towards are, it, and had them blow it apart. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. I'm sure they have some motion sensors so they know you're there. All you have to do is push one panel down. I've seen you lift a tree that would weigh thousands of Dude, pounds. It's hard. Daniel. 
there. I feel like he's doing it a lot harder than he should. He focused You're on right two panel panels. He should have just focused on one. Almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Get him back to the car and let him warm up. And relax. We did it! We fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> Careful driving over that, though. That metal will just destroy your tires. It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Yeah. You definitely should go oh, back man. to the car and make your way back. I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. You are in so much I'll trouble if you can't make it across. I totally think you should have drove the truck. I'm I can't sorry. run either. I don't like that. Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! No. No way. Not now. Daniel! This is why you're stupid to get out of the truck. Oh shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Oh, we got somebody else to kill. Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! No, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. It's not legal to shoot yeah. children either. So tell me the plan. It, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Yeah, don't move. Ugh. What? What the fuck? Get it off! Stop! Get it off! Jesus! What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. Put them both under arrest. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! Fuck's sake! what I say? Uh-oh. Okay. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! 
What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? Don't answer. <laughs> You're under arrest. Yeah, that didn't go well. Again, there was no need for them to ever to leave the truck for uh, them to blow up the wall. Don't look at me. Oh, I'd piss on him through the bars. See. Si. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Oh, can we walk around? I wonder how long they've been here. And why. I wonder how long they've why? been here. Why? And why. Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Trying to reach Mexico. No somos ilegales. Nacimos aquí. Intentamos llegar a México. Pues ustedes van a ser ilegales en México. Cuestión de perspectiva. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. They are very brave. <laughs> Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo <risa> y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país, que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Well, my father did too. Fue de México cuando murieron sus padres para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto, pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Tuve suerte que mi padre trabajaba duro, que fuimos bien integrados. Lo comprendí cuando murió. Cuando me quedé solo. Lo siento mucho, hijo. Cuando eres extranjero. <sighs> tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. 
Enough now. Fuck this America. woman. We speak English. We actually don't have America an official language. Okay. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants did build the country. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, no, no. That was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. It uh, is. Yeah. yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders, we have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. They have a right to piss you on you through like, the bars. Like, like, like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. what you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. Un odio no va a ganar. Ni le esto, Carla. Ya, basta. No vale más. Fuck you, you wetback. You and your what girlfriend. What the fuck? Yo! Madison! Everybody calm down. They need to arrest her. Tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? Because you, you shot a child? What? We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here. Or I'm gonna get mean. Okay? Let's move it. Tony, you should have pissed on him through the freaking bars. And this whole thing, the only bad thing oh, Sean has done. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing Because he didn't turn himself in in Seattle. He Must should have. Because he's done but nothing wrong. Time. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Yeah, he's a kid. Okay. Give him coffee. Good. Be right back. If anything, he'd want water. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope no point in getting these off. There are cops. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Uh. Of course not. I just have to sit here and wait. So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Say. Because you shot a child. You should go to prison. That would give you a right to shoot a child. You shot an American child at that. They're in solitary to begin with.
There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so Shit. much better. Drink it. At least it'll keep me up. We got no other options right now besides drinking, so. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. He had nothing to do with a it. Gas station clerk. That one, he was fighting Caught for his life. Another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada, and its leader is found dead short after. We never joined. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. You can explain. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. He didn't do any of it. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? He should have. Why didn't they check the body cam footage? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. That is 100% true. Your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. And no traces of bombs. You can't blame it on them. How? Don't call yourself a villain. That'll come Rose, back about you. We're just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Uh, hey, what sir? I don't think you should. Keep your ass in that seat. About time. Hold on. You okay? How do you feel? I I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Uh, you should get yeah. the handcuff off of you. Grab a handcuff key. Sorry, that. It's the little kid. You'll be fine. Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And God, he's up for the count.
Wait. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. Of, of course. Holy mother. How'd you do that? Time for payback. What do you want now? Sorry, no witnesses. Fuck off. Don't mess with this kid. I mean it. Oh, oh shit, Miss Mew. Again, no witnesses. That's what they get. Miss Mew. Ass. Hope it'll teach them a lesson. You shouldn't shoot children. That's what he gets, right? Well, we don't want. Okay, oh, hands up. Shit. Don't, don't move. Don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Crush them. Now. Got it. Okay, stop. I said. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Idiots. They should have known better. Yeah. You saved our asses. Sean, I think our things are in there. Gotta get our shit. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. Walkie talkie. I must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Pretty good memory. From a pretty bad place. Look at that. Crime Central. Alright. We gotta go. Oh, actually, tell these guys it's safe. Don't go back in there, Sean. There's probably more than one. Good thinking, Daniel. Just tell them it's safe. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. If... Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Agent Flores is gonna be on your ass. Cause he actually did kill two cops this time on purpose. The other Hi, one Sean, was an accident. Right. <sighs> no, nobody is chasing us. Not yet. You should leave that on. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Now you don't. You absolutely don't now. Sean. It's the... Fourth of July. Our first one without dad. Yeah. Right. Get your independence Remember going to Mexico. How he was so in the fireworks every year. 
he always made us throw too early, so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Yeah, you're about to cross. It's sad how much crap they've been through. Shit. Well, Daniel. Your job to take it out. Sean, we can't let them get us. Sean! Sean You didn't have to go there, you could have went to another gate. Fucker. Shouldn't have turned it off. That was stupid. You know that day? In Seattle? The date Dad was shot? I think about it every day. Of course you do. And I would give anything change what happened but I can't I'm sorry for my mistakes I tried my best I swear Sean but you were the one with the real power and you know how to use it now you're not a kid anymore if we surrender they will separate us Daniel And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong, be brave, be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Let's just get out of here. Please, don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I hate promises. Sean, you I'll try. You've you never been able to trust her. Come on. There's no way out. You literally could just drive around the cop cars and have them go through the gate. How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Gonna fucking do it. Came this far. Get to the other side. You should never turn the truck off.
You did this, Agent Flores. You're the dumbass who did this. Get in the vehicle and get out of there because one of you are going to end up getting shot by somebody who's still alive. We can go now. Yeah, y'all shouldn't have been yeah. waiting to begin with. Let's go home. Going too dang slow. One of them probably is still alive and gonna start shooting at you. You don't be going like 20 miles an hour. They could have literally drove around the cops too. Or tore down a wall. They never had to go directly to that checkpoint. But we made it to Mexico. First thing you do, contact Layla. Write a book, tell your side of the story. Get a hold of Brody. Write your mom. Had one tragic story in past. There is so much for them to do now that they're actually in a place where they're safe. Or they can make crimes down in Porto's Locos, it looks like. Local gang high out raided by another gang, two casualties. Diaz Repair Shop. Yeah, you guys aren't ever going back to America after that. Well, Daniel might be able to.
wonder if I ever messaged Layla within the six years or got a hold of uh, anyone from the camp. I like the big hot dog man art. Oh, Daniel, you gonna kill him? That's with the Diaz brothers. You allowed witnesses, that's gonna come back against you. You're in a desert for a reason. So the gang is trying to rob them. Dude, they are making money. Wow. Mexico doesn't have extradition with America. They really should reach out to Layla. That was their one good friend. He can always reach out to Chris. See how much money they have. They could really fix up their area. Always contact Claire. Was it Steve or whatever it was again? They come down to visit. As long as they never cross that border back into America, they're fine. That was a good story. I'm real curious what uh, all decisions we made versus ones we didn't, like what actually leads up to what. Cause there's a lot what happened there. That was the most jam-packed episode of Life is Strange 2. I mean, we did a lot of crazy uh, choices ourselves but all of them was just trying to get Sean and Daniel across the border. Daniel would have been fine no matter what happened because he was a minor like such a young minor he's below the age of reason with his first kill Sean never killed anyone the only thing he did was attack the dude who chained him up, lock him in his sex dungeon at the gas station. We bought everything that we had at that gas station. Then we ended up stealing stuff after we had been attacked. But all of our stuff was legit. Sean never should have ran though. That was the biggest downfall of the whole 
game, a whole series, as he ran. Because Sean was a miner. Sean didn't kill anyone. If they would have even looked at any uh, body cams or anything, they would have saw that Sean had nothing to do with it. No, he ran, and he fucked up him and Daniel's lives forever with that. The nice thing is, they actually got to meet their mom, which wouldn't have happened otherwise. And she probably got out of jail pretty soon after, too. That was a crazy story. I'm super curious how well that's going to play out. Special message to the fans. The whole Life is Strange 2 team has expressed a sincere and humble gratitude for the amazing support, art, gifts, passions, and theories. Thanks for your patience. We'll be crafting these episodes once again. We are proud to have you on board this amazing journey. Keep on howling. That's cool. So we decided to force the roadblock and Daniel accepted. You decided to force the roadblock, Daniel refused. You decided to surrender the police, Daniel accepted. Decided to surrender to the police and Daniel refused. So I think we chose the best decision. Overall, you taught Daniel to do his best to follow the rules of society. You taught Daniel to put himself and his brother first. Yeah, you got to. It's you versus the world. No one to compare choices with. So you did the treasure hunt, you found the hidden souvenir. Do not do the treasure hunt. You refuse to do the treasure hunt. You got closer with Karen. Yeah, I'm glad. He needed to know his mom. You overall kept your distance with Karen. You wrote a caring note to Karen. You wrote a concealing note to Karen. You wrote a lukewarm note. You didn't leave a note. Yeah, we did the best thing. You said farewell to Arthur and Stanley. Well, yeah, they let us borrow a telescope. They were really cool down to Earth. Said farewell to Joan. 71% did that. You hugged Karen before leaving. 97. Wow, 3% just hated her. You stayed out of the argument. Yeah, it wasn't our argument to have with Diego and the racist couple. You freed the Mexican couple. 67. You didn't open their cell. You didn't ask Daniel to free the vigilantes. No, we weren't going to free them. They would have ended up shooting us if we freed them. Hundredfold. I believe that in the core. They would have grabbed one of the cops' guns and shot them. They had already shot Daniel once. You asked Daniel to take revenge. Only 20% did. Yeah. No need for uh, that. They shot the brother. He needed revenge for shooting the brother. You asked Daniel to kill the officers to escape, 18%. You didn't ask Daniel to kill the officers to escape, 82 We took the path less chosen on that one. I'm surprised. Alright, so now we're on to Daniel's side. Daniel was told off about the scorpion and stopped messing with it. Daniel was told off, off about the scorpion but kept messing with it. Daniel wasn't told off. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell him. Daniel's to the point at this at that point in the game that he does what he wants and he's already stated he'll do what he wants. And he's dangerous and has hurt his brother. Daniel managed to get Joan's sculpture up with your help. Oh, I didn't even think about setting up the way Daniel wanted. Daniel managed to set up Joan's sculpture without your help. Daniel wasn't concerned about Officer Campbell. Daniel accepted to open the vigilante, refused to help him, wasn't asked. Yeah, I wasn't gonna ask. Daniel accepted to take revenge, refused, didn't want to shot. Daniel killed the officers, 14. Took the path of the least resistance there, or the least accepted one there. Knocked him out, locked the officers in this closet, forced to intervene because the officers got too close. Didn't even know these were options. My man, that's... Ah, we, we took him out, though. 
So Daniel is okay to kill the officers, was reluctant but forced to kill the officers, refused to kill the officers. Daniel wasn't asked to kill the officers. Yeah, he's fine with killing him. He's had already killed so many at that point. That was a crazy story. I really hope Don't Nod makes another one. Thanks for following Sean and Daniel on their journey. I hope that whatever they make next, they uh, have res references to Sean and Daniel, Max, Chloe, Rachel, and... Uh, Alex from Life is Strange True Colors because it'd be cool to see how they could bring the whole world together. But that is Life is Strange too. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below because there was a lot to that story. I'm real curious your views on there. Was it right killing the cops? Was it right killing the vigilantes? Was it right freeing the illegal Mexican couple? We, as Sean, never once killed anyone. Daniel had went on a murder spree. He killed the two vigilantes. He killed three cops that we know of. He killed the church leader. So that's three people. Uh, we don't know if any of those cops... Or Agent Flores at the end actually died. They've all been knocked unconscious. We don't know. I'm going to say they're knocked unconscious. So we know for sure Daniel only killed six of those people. And he turned a cheek in Mexico. When hey, those three had walked in with guns on Sean. He could have killed them. He allowed witnesses. He let them go. I'm very surprised at But... That is why life is strange. I'm real curious how this works out. So let me know what you think. And I will see you guys on the next game and next episode. Have a wonderful day. Peace.